screen for free without routing, you have come to the right place. Traditionally, I've always recorded my material with a camera shooting onto the screen of my device, but I've always been interested in the idea of recording the screen direct and Lollipop Screen Recorder does exactly that. It's incredibly simple to use with just two options you need to set up, the first being your resolution and the second being the screen orientation for recording. You also have the option to record audio too and once you've done that, press the record button in the top right hand corner of the screen and boom. What we have on screen right now is the direct recording on the left side and my camera recording on the right side of the screen. I'm sure I don't need to tell you that the colour reproduction is much better and text is a lot clearer. And the frame rate is silky smooth so you can see every action and animation. This recording was done on a Nexus 6 and it didn't skip a beat, no noticeable performance issues at all. You'll notice recording icons in the notification tray and it will record changes in screen orientation but it will look a bit odd on your video. That's a side by side comparison but this is what a portrait video recording looks like by itself. Of course you can record in landscape too, which might be useful for gamers out there. So back to the two key features of this application. It's free with no video watermarks and if you have Android Lollipop on your device it doesn't require any sort of modification, which is absolutely fantastic. You can stop the recording through your notification tray and the video will appear in a friendly mp4 format within the application. What more can I say? Lollipop Screen Recorder is just the application I was looking for. screen recorder. When you open the app, there is a floating window with four buttons. We can navigate to any screen with this floating window staying on top. Now I will open the Flappy Bird game made by Google. You will click on the first red button. That will start recording. Now we will start. First try. Second try. We can pause or stop by open the notification bar. Now I will click stop. We can play the video again. First try. Second try. The second button is for opening the setting. 
you can change the resolution bitrate enable audio and many other option we can see on the re recent recorded video yeah and the last button is to exit